Good morning, Kinder. Ms. Orozco here, or as you may know, The Grinch. And I'm here to help you with some math. We are going to do some math Christmas graphing, just like we did the winter sports. And just like we did, we did back in November for the Thanksgiving items. That's right. Today we have a winter count and graph. So I'm going to turn you over to my desk so that I can show you how to do this. Now remember, if you don't have a printer, that's okay, because I'm gonna show you how you can create your own graph on just any piece of paper. Hey okay, friends, so here we have a winter count and graph. And how many categories do we have? Well, at the bottom it says one, two, three, four. So we need four different colors. I'm gonna use light blue, green. <coughs> I'm gonna use purple, light blue, orange, and green and this way i can color them as i see them now remember if you don't have a printer and you can't print this at home that's okay because what i'm going to show you is what you can do on a piece of paper so we have four categories so we're going to do a graph and remember a graph is just simply boxes so that we can count how many of an object we have and we have four categories, so we're gonna do three lines, three big lines up and down. And so the first category is a snowflake. So I'm just gonna draw a snowflake. That's not perfect, but that's okay. And then the second one is a snowman. There we go. The third one is a little girl. There we go. And then finally, a Christmas tree. Beautiful. So first we're gonna do the snowflake and I'm gonna use blue for the snowflake. So. Help me count how many snowflakes we have, ready? Oh, here's one. Here's another one. Oh, wow, look at all these snowflakes. My goodness, we have so many snowflakes. That's wonderful because in winter, a lot of us get to see some snow, even if it's not real, even if it's artificial or decoration we still get to see a lot of these beautiful maybe even paper snowflakes right mm -hmm. all right <clears throat> and friends remember when we count we have to do something very important every time we count an object we have to cross it off so we make sure we don't count it two times just like this watch one two three four five six seven and eight we have eight so on my graph if you have the paper printed, then you would just color eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh my goodness, there's eight. So now on yours, you're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and I gotta add some more boxes seven and eight there we go seven and eight beautiful now did you notice that there's an extra box over here now this box it's really really tiny so if you can't see it that's a-okay because it says how many <gasps> well how many so if you have this paper you're just going to count the boxes and put the number here just like this one two three four five six seven eight so we will put eight right here now if you're doing it at home on another piece of paper you would just count it one two three four five six seven eight and you can just put it right down there friends i hope you have a lot of fun the next category is snowman and you can color it any color you would like and put it on your paper or on this one and make sure you tell us how many of each thank you friends if you want to share it with us, go ahead and share it with us here on Schoology. Bye, have fun.